it was from God. Yeah. He went to someone else who wasn't there. He told him, I think, uh, you know, it's, it's from God. Okay. He did not know, sorry, sorry. He did not know if the experience he had was actually from God. He had to be told. Moses, when God appeared to him, Moses said, my goodness, I'm, I'm, God has appeared to me. And then that same God appeared to the Israelites on Mount Sinai and spoke in an environment which apparently had two million people. So there were more. How, how many million people? Uh, two million uh, people. Where did you get that from? <laughs> Do you know where I got that number from? Yeah. Where? Okay, I'm going to tell you where I got that number from. In the scripture, it says the Israelites counted the men in, after um, the, the, the Exodus happened according to scripture. And it was about around 500,000 men, not including women and children. So if, 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 if those 500,000 men, even if 400,000 of them had at least one wife, no, no, you're saying two million saw God. I'm saying, no, no I'm saying, wait, wait, um, I, I, I never said that. Oh, so I, they never saw God. So oh why my, bring it up oh then? Oh my goodness, Hashim, do me a so favor. So why please. bring it up then? Do me a favor and just listen. We are talking about do witnessing God here. Do me a favor and listen. Yeah, and, go on. And Exodus 20, verse 24. Yeah. It says, the people heard the voice of God and said, Moses, please do not speak to us anymore because we are afraid, because we have seen the, the thunder and the lightning and the glory and we are afraid. So Moses said, look, don't worry. It's good that you're afraid. I, I will start representing um, um, God to you now, as in I will go and talk to God and, and relay the message. There were multiple witnesses of the event. Your whole religion is based Samson, on a single Sa man's testimony. Samson. When Moses went to the mountain, yes, yes Mount Sinai, yes. to get the Ten Commandments, yes. was there anyone with him? Aaron went up with him. So? Aaron. 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 Did Aaron go all the way up? He didn't go all the way. Wait. That's listen, a question. That's listen, a question. Listen, no, no, no. Wait, wait, wait. Yes, yes. Let's be fair. But the manifestation fair. of God. Is wait, a wait, wait a minute. Wait, wait a minute. Wait a minute. So you're telling me? No, no. Guy. When Moses actually received the Ten Commandments, yes. was there anyone with him? Let's be fair. Okay. Okay. No. Thank okay. you very much. Okay. No, no. Wait, wait, wait. I haven't finished yet. What you just narrated about Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam's first experience? Yes. But that was on his. It's not even comparable. Samson, let me finish. Go, go, go. Okay. When what you just mentioned was the first experience of Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam where he was shocked and surprised at this, at this being came to him, yep. the angel, yes? But that wasn't his only experience. Yeah, okay, you fine. completely ignored the over 23 years, the, the hundreds of other appearances of the angel who told him very clearly, I am Angel Jibreel. And the Quran says that the one who, re who revealed the message was Angel Jibreel. Wait, wait, we have it in the scripture. Yeah. Just like what you just quoted, everything was from the scripture. Yeah. So you believe it. I'm using the same argument, my yeah, friend, right. that not only that the Prophet ﷺ spoke directly to Allah, which no angel would have even done to the extent that he went. When, yes, that's in the Quran. Sure, that's in the Quran. I don't remember the words exactly, but he went to uh, uh, what is called, um, what's the name of the tree? Al but anyway, there was a point where he went. Yes, a Sidrat al Muntaha. Just, just tell the story, it's fine. It's fine. No, no, it's not. It's, it's Sidrat al Muntaha, which is basically the point beyond which no one can go without the permission of God. Okay. Yes? Okay. And he spoke directly to God. Okay. So we have evidence in the Quran, just like you have evidence of Moses speaking to God, which we also have in the and Quran. Wait, wait. Okay. I haven't finished yet. So based on. The same logic which you're using, I'm using the same one. The same because there were multiple witnesses of the event. No, 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 no. The, you said there was no witness listen, when he got the ta Ten carefully. Commandments. You said there was no one. Listen, listen very carefully. And by the way, during the 23 years, there were many witnesses when Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam used to receive the revelation. Many witnesses. And they saw him. Receive yes, the they saw. They saw him. They even saw many times a camel used to sink by the weight of the revelation that used to come yeah, yeah. in the sand. Yeah. So this is all in the hadith. Yeah, well, we have it, no, alhamdulillah. Well, listen, to, listen to what I'm saying. Yes. What you're saying is one, yeah, Muhammad received revelation, this single individual person, yeah? He, he was the sole purpose um, person who received revelation. What I'm saying is with Moses' revelation, there were multiple witnesses. They saw- They did not see him listen, receiving it. Listen. They we have already agreed oh to that. Come goodness, on, please. stop using Exodus that argument. 20, now. God is speaking on top of Mount Sinai, and the Israelites are hearing Him directly. Did they see Him receive the Ten Commandments? He spoke the Ten Answer Commandments. Answer the question. Directly. Answer the question. He spoke it. Did they see Him receive the Ten Commandments or not? Or in terms 
You see why the reason you're reluctant listen, to answer that, which you did answer earlier, is because you saying. know that your argument fails there. It doesn't. The question is about not. No. Tablets of stone, but they heard that they heard the words on the tablets of stone directly. So wait, 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 wait. Show me that. Show me that. Show me, show me they heard the voice. They heard the voice on the tablet of stone. I don't understand. What the tablets were speaking? Exodus 20. No, no, read it. Exodus 20. Yeah, read it. Remember, he said the tablets were speaking. Something like that. No. You said you heard the voice on the tablets. What does that even mean? Sorry. What I'm saying is this. Yeah. No, no, read it. Read it because I want evidence. I'm going to read. I'm going to read. The question here is, did, when Moses received the Ten Commandments, did they actually see God giving it to him in his hand? They didn't have to. <laughs> they didn't, so why did Muhammad have to then? Listen, 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 Subhanallah. Let me explain. You see what I mean? One standard for him, another standard for us. Inconsistent. Let me explain what I'm saying. I'm going I'm to explain this to you, okay? Please, just let me talk. I think we already agreed that no, there was no eyewitness when you received the Ten <laughs> Oh, you just said it. I now. just told you You can see it just now. No. Okay, stop, 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 stop. Okay, stop. go on. Read from the Bible. Stop, stop, stop. Hold on one second. We're getting excited. We're getting passionate, which is good. <laughs> Here's what I'm trying to say, okay? Yeah. Very simply, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to read the Bible. I'm not, I'm not even going to speak, okay? This is Exodus, Exodus 19. Exodus 19, verse 9. And Yahweh said to Moses, I come to you in a thick cloud that the people may hear when I speak with you and believe you forever. I repeat, the Lord God said to, said to Moses, I come to you in a thick cloud that the people may hear when I speak with you and believe you forever. Okay, very, very clearly. Okay, very okay. simple. And it came to pass on the third day, this is verse 16 now, in, in, um, Exodus 19 verse 16. It, so, and it came to pass on the third day in the morning that there were thunder, lightning, and a thick cloud upon the Mount Sinai, and a voice of a trumpet exceedingly loud, so that all the people in the camp trembled when they saw this manifestation. And Moses brought forth the people out of the camp to meet with God, and they stood near part of the mountain. And Mount Sinai was all together in smoke because Yahweh, the God of Israel, descended upon it in fire and a smoke um, ascended like the smoke of a furnace and the whole mountain quaked greatly, okay? And when the voice of the trumpet sounded long, Moses spoke and God answered him directly by voice, okay? And the Lord came down upon Mount Sinai on top of the mountain and the Lord called Moses up to the top of the mountain. Alone. Okay. Alone. That's fine. Thank you. I, that's fine. And the Lord said to Moses, go down and tell the people, do not step, come up the mountain unless they gaze at the Lord and then and they perish, okay? And now I want to say this, okay, very simple. Exodus 20. And God spoke all of these words. I am the Lord thy God which had brought thee out of the land of Egypt. Then he starts talking about the Ten Commandments. Thou shalt not kill. Thou shalt not have gods before me. Thou shalt not lie. So he starts to go through the Ten Commandments in detail, okay? And then this is what happens in verse 18 of, of chapter 20. And the people saw the thunder and the lightning and the noise of the trumpet and the mountain smoking and when the people saw it, they, 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 they stood back and said, Moses, please speak to us and we will hear you. But do not let God speak with us anymore unless we die. And Moses said to the people, fear not, for God has come to test you that you, his fear may be before you. Okay. Okay. What I'm trying to illustrate is this. There's no... They heard the, the, the Ten Commandments directly on Mount Sinai. God spoke to the people directly and then Moses later on came down with tablets of stone that were consistent with the words that he heard. That is what we're saying. Muhammad was alone okay, so Samson, with his revelation. They, the, 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 I'm so going to ask you the same question. The text, yeah. saw a manifestation of God and heard God's voice directly. That's what I'm saying. Okay. Ma so let me, was alone. There was only one witness. Let me use, Muhammad alone. wait a minute. Oh, yeah, go, let go. me use the same argument. <laughs> go, How go. can we believe the story you just narrated? I, I can say the same thing to you, no problem. No, 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 but you, I, you, I you actually did. He did actually. 
and that's fine. He yeah. did. How can we believe what is in the Quran? I'm asking you, how can we believe what's in the Torah? It's, it's unprovable. So it's why unprovable. why would you use that standard no, 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 to no, then prove no, no. to us that oh, no, no. because it's in the Quran, I don't believe it. No, no, I never said that. I'm trying to illustrate that this single individual Muhammad. You know what is the earliest? The base, wait, wait. Do you know what? Do you know what's the earliest manuscript of the Old? Was the was the earliest manuscript of the Old Testament? It's the it's the Qumran manuscript. Do you know how old they are? It's first century. First century what? AD. AD. <laughs> when did Moses come? Uh, yeah. So you got a gap of fifteen hundred years. Yes. Why should I believe something with a gap of fifteen hundred years? Yes. Why? Why would I believe anything that has a gap of fifteen hundred years? If the story is false, then. By definition, Islam cannot be true. Why? Categorical. We don't depend on the Bible. Yes, you do. Because the stories that you're talking about cannot be verified because Muhammad never lived in 1500 BC. He didn't need to, just like Adam did not, sorry, <laughs> just like Moses did not live in the time of Adam, but he believes all the stories from the Adam. Yeah, but we have yes? the actual content from the people who lived at the time. We have and the we have content in the Quran, which is a direct revelation to Allah, from Allah. Come on, is, no, 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 no. He what? doesn't realize no, 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 that the no, argument no, he's using is, is completely false, flawed because it goes against him more than me. This is false. You got a gap of 1500 years. This is false. Yes, 1500 years. We have the Quran with the manuscript from the first century of Israel, from the from the century of the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam himself. You by the way, by no, the way, no, the no, first, no, 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 I'll give you an example okay, from okay, Ibn Hisham. Okay, yes, with regards to the first uh, a, sighting of Gabriel. You have an Arabian man talking about Jewish history that he never saw. Yeah, and just like have, Moses talked about Adam, just like Moses spoke about Adam, okay. Adam wasn't Jewish. I, I, no, 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 <laughs> what kind of what kind of logic is this? Do you no, realize? It's not. no, it's not. Uh, okay, you know what? You know, Thousands of years before Moses, Adam was there. What happened in the in the garden? Did the did this? Can you believe a snake? Can you believe? Wait, wait, you're getting passionate now, and so am I. So let's calm down. The snake spoke. Do you believe that? Snake spoke to Adam. Yes. He went into uh, what do you say? Into uh, Eden. He spoke to Adam and his wife. Yes, to go and eat of the fruit. It's, it's the equivalent if you can believe that, what are you saying? Then you'll is the equivalent of this. It's like what? saying we only know Japanese history by what was written in Spain. Six, seven hundred years after the event happened, or, or, or no, sorry, sorry, over a thousand five hundred years. Old, we only know Japanese history by reading Spanish texts that were written over two thousand. Why can't we know something written in Spanish about Japanese history? And that if I know Spanish, that becomes authoritative as it relates to the actual. Yeah, Japanese why history that's produced and is there. No, but the Come Japanese on history is... Come on now. The Japanese... That doesn't make any sense. Wait, wait. That is what you're saying. You're saying that... Imagine this. No, no. Somebody who's not Japanese <laughs> and he brings up a history 1500 years after the Japanese history. Will you believe it? No. Your logic doesn't work, Samson, either way. No, okay, anyway, let me tell you about... From the Sira. Wait, wait. Samson, Samson. The reason, the reason, the reason my logic isn't working is I'm not actually being allowed to say what I'm trying to no, say. No, I let you speak a lot. Okay, go, 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 okay go, go, I let go, you go, read go, go, from go, the Bible. Go, go, go. Now let's read from Ibn Hisham, which is basically the... The biography of the Prophet Muhammad okay. Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. It says here, when I was midway, this is the first. I love this. This day. is during the first. Uh, this is like heated. It's, it's nice. This is during the first sighting of Gabriel, okay, which yeah. you said that he never said he was Gabriel. No, no, no. I'm, 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 I don't mind if he did. Yeah, but many I do. I don't, I don't mind if he Ma did. Ma matter, many do. So here, here it is. When I was midway on the mountain, I heard a voice from heaven, saying, "O Muhammad, thou art an apostle of God, and I am Gabriel." Okay. Yes, I raised my head. That means he, Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, I raised my head towards the heavens to see and lo, Gabriel in the form of a man with feet astride the horizon saying, O Muhammad, thou art the apostle of God and I am Gabriel. I stood gazing at him, moving neither forward nor backward. Then I began to turn my face away from him, but towards whatever region of the sky I looked, I saw him as before. Okay, so he saw him everywhere he looked. Now this is in Ibn Hisham, page number six, 62 and who's, who's 60. Who's narrating Ibn Hisham. Ibn Hisham, which is the early, uh, one of the earliest biographers okay, so of, the, of, the, of the Prophet Muhammad okay, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, is in uh, his, uh, Ibn Hisham, page 62 and 63. Okay. Now in the Quran, in Surah Al-Nahl, this is what Allah says. Say, O Muhammad, Ru Al-Quddus, which is Jibril, has brought it, which is the Quran, down from your Lord with truth, that it may make firm and strengthen the faith of those who have believed as a guidance and glad tidings to those who have submitted. That means who, who are Muslims, to, all, uh, to Allah as Muslims. This is in Surah Al-Nahl, which is chapter 16, 102. So we have both in the Sirah and in the Hadith that this was in Angel Jibreel who brought the, the Quran to Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Now, 
with regards to the content of the Quran, you have to show that this is not from God other than saying, oh, he's not, uh, he's not from Bani Israel, he doesn't have the same genealogy, and he yeah, that's contradicts that's what is in the scripture. That's, that's, that's now I'm asking, process, yeah. if you have something in the scripture, by the way, I can show the Isaac and Ishmael if you got time, but I think that's we have already that's been fine. here for quite a while the, now. The, 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 you you were not able to show a single the, objection the, the, to the, the, Prophet Muhammad the, 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 which the, the, stood the test here. If you just let me speak, just yeah, sure, no, okay. on. Here's what I'm saying, okay. The Quran yeah. is making historical claims about events that happened in the time of Abraham, Isaac, Moses and stuff like that, okay? Yeah? Yeah. yeah. Oh, that's, that's, thank you very much. That, that, that's what the Quran is doing. Yeah. The Quran is making historical claims yeah. about a civilization that yeah. Muhammad never lived Just in. like Moses did with Adam. That's, that's fine. That's yeah. fine. But here's the, no, no, that, on paper that makes sense, but here's the point, okay? We have the writings of that civilization that lived. So? Okay? We have the text, the original text, the primary source about that civilization, that Jewish yeah. Wait, this is just history now, okay? So uh, we are being asked now to, to kind of scrap um, ma major parts of that actual testimony in favor of a testimony that came from a man who never ever saw, lived, or came in, in direct contact with the people yeah. who were alive. Just like Moses and Adam. No, but I difference. keep telling you, what was the difference? With Moses and Adam, yeah. they never produced any rhymes. Who so didn't produce any writings? Adam, Adam, Moses, Abraham, they never produced No, no, I'm talking about the history. I know, I'm, I'm talking about, about the writings. I'm, I'm, I'm talking about the history of Adam. Point. I'm trying to make a point. Yeah. Adam, Eve, they never produced any writings. So we can't go in. I'm not talking about the writing. No, I'm talking about the important. history. It's important. Do you not realize that? Yeah, yeah, because... You just now Moses mentioned the history. the history. Wait, wait, wait. Just now you mentioned the history. You see how they shift the goalpost. No, it's just not. now he said, we have the history of these people, X, Y, and Z, produce... Ex, ex, wait, wait. When you say history, do you mean only... Only what is written? I'm talking about okay, I'll tell you what. Give me something about <laughs> Moses other than from the Bible. Come go on. on I challenge on. you. No, no, you said you have history. Give, yeah, give, go on. No, give me show, something on. about Moses I'm other the than. I'm saying the scriptures. Ah, uh, so it was about the scriptures. No, it wasn't about them people producing <laughs> something. Wallah, you know, this is the, the standard that we have to go by here. And that's the reason I said okay. if you're going to use your scripture as your only testimony, then so, can the, the then so can we. Then so can we. Because the Quran is. If, it is not the wait, wait. If, if God tells you something that happened way back in the past okay. where there's no history whatsoever, why should you reject it? There is history. What is history? Show, okay. show me something about Moses. Go on. Yeah, show me the writings of Moses. Go on. Show me the writings of Moses outside the scripture. Okay, 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 okay. You okay. can't. Okay. You can't. You know why? You know why? Why you cannot use that argument of history? Is because you are in much deep. You'll be in much deeper water, hot water than us. Because you will be. You will be. Real, you will realize that even the Bible that you have today is unreliable, based on yes, based on the fact that, based on the fact that these manuscripts are 15. Well, I wouldn't say 15. Maybe 12 to 1300 years after Moses. You got a gap. You got a gap of more than. No, no, wait, wait. You don't have any chain of narration. We don't need train. We have, we have exact manuscripts. How do you know it's exact? <laughs> you got a gap of 50, more than a thousand okay. years. I can't say it's exact. I'm just giving no, no, wait. You got a gap of. Listen, you got a gap of 1,000 years. That's fine, yeah. So even for you to say it is slightly same as what Moses said would be speculating. Yeah, it is, it is. You I see give, what I mean? I give, I give, I give, yeah. yeah. Fine, but you see, we, on the other hand, we not only have the chain of narration and the chain of transmission yeah. and the chain of the Qirat and the which manuscripts. Which relies on the contingency of people being honest. Which even, yes. even, even That's why we got the Elmo Rajal. Yeah, Remember yeah, yeah, I told you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We yes, have, we, have we have the biography of each we have chain. In, sorry, each link in this the chain. chain of narration is contingent on the truthfulness of every single person in the train. That is something that But exactly, that's what, the, that's what the it science of Hadith be. is. It can't be verified. Samson, it can. It cannot be it verified. Can. I'll tell you how. You can't. Wait, wait. You cannot if verify you have, the truthfulness You know, we have, already been, we have already been through oh, this yeah, before. Yeah, fine, yes? Fine, fine, fine. If we have multiple attestations <laughs> from many different places, from many different people, and all of that come to the same conclusion, then we can, we can believe it. Why not? It's a, it's a choice, it's a choice at that point. But, well, but, for you, you don't even have the choice, unfortunately. I know. So anyway, I think with that we should conclude. We'll, we'll, we'll leave it there. We'll leave we'll, it yeah, we'll leave it there. But uh, thank you very much. Jazakallah khairan. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. He's a warrior, for sure. So. Alhamdulillah. It's a very impassioned conversation, which I, which I